Hola, muy buenas a todos. Aquí John Heredia presentando una nueva serie en el canal como es Mass Effect. Juegazo. Para los que no lo hayáis jugado, es un juegazo, ¿de acuerdo? Vamos a jugar en, en este canal la trilogía. Sacaron no hace mucho el, el Legendary Edition, que es el, la que estamos jugando actualmente. En el cual meten una gran mejora en los tres juegos. Sobre todo, se nota muchísimo, sobre todo en el 1 y el 2. El 3 no tanto, pero de igual manera se nota. En tema de, por ejemplo, texturas en alta calidad, mejora de jugabilidad, etc. Así que nada, vamos al lío. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Vale, vamos a introducirle una identificación nueva. El, el personaje está bien, o sea, en principio la cara y demás está bien. Eh, hombre. Please log in to access your profile. Vamos a ponerle Johnny. Johnny Shepard. No se le puede cambiar el apellido. Bueno, Johnny Shepard. Está bien. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Somos eh, del espacio. Tus padres pertenecían ambos al ejército de la Alianza. Así que tu niñez la pasaste en diferentes naves y estaciones sin permanecer muchos años seguidos en un mismo destino. Al final seguiste el ejemplo de tus padres y te alistaste al cumplir los 18. De las colonias. Naciste y creciste en Mindoir, una pequeña colonia exterior del través Aticano. Cuando tenías 16 años, unos esclavistas asaltaron Mindoir y aniquilaron a tu familia y a tus amigos. Te salvó una patrulla de la Alianza. Pocos años después te alistaste en el ejército. Terrestre. Eras un huérfano que creció en las calles de las grandes megalópolis que cubren la tierra. Al cumplir los 18 escapaste de una vida de crímenes y de poca monta y bandas callejeras al alistarte en el ejército de la Alianza. Somos terrestres, ¿no? Confirm psychological profile. Superviviente. Durante tu servicio una misión salió terriblemente mal. Quedaste atrapado en una situación de supervivencia extrema y tuviste que superar penurias físicas y psicológicas que habrían acabado con la mayoría de, tu, de la gente. Sin embargo, tú sobreviviste. Resististe cuando todos los demás cayeron. Al final solo quedaste tú para contar la historia. Héroe de guerra. Al principio de tu carrera militar te encontraste frente a frente a una fuerza enemiga abrumadora. Arriesgaste tu vida para salvar a tus compañeros y derrotar al enemigo a pesar de que parecía imposible. Tu valor y tu heroísmo te han hecho ganar medallas y el reconocimiento de la flota de la Alianza. Implacable. A lo largo de tu carrera militar siempre te has guiado por un principio, los resultados. Te acusan de frialdad y brutalidad, y tu reputación de eficacia despediada hace que tus camaradas te miren con reservas. Pero cuando el fracaso no es una opción, el ejército siempre piensa en ti. Vamos a poner que somos un héroe, ¿no? Héroe de guerra, por ejemplo. Confirm military specialization. A ver, soldado. Especialistas ideales para primera línea de un tiroteo. Tienen salud mejorada. Pueden especializarse en todo tipo de armas. Comienzan con la capacidad de usar armaduras medias y pueden entresar, entrenarse en el uso de armaduras pesadas. Ingeniero. Los ingenieros son especialistas en tecnología. Con su omniherramienta holográfica pueden interferir sistemas de seguridad, reparar o modificar equipo técnico, neutralizar armas o escudos y curar al pelotón. Los ingenieros solo pueden llevar armadura ligera y especializar, eh, especializarse en pistolas. Adepto. Los adeptos son especialistas en biótica. Gracias a los implantes mejorables que tienen, pueden usar sus poderes bióticos para elevar o arrojar cosas, escudar al pelotón y neutralizar o destruir a los enemigos. Los adeptos solo pueden llevar armadura ligera y especializarse en pistolas. Infiltrado. Los infiltrados combinan habilidad 
de combate y las capacidades tecnológicas para especializarse en abatir o neutralizar a los enemigos desde lejos. Se entrenan con omni herramientas, pero se centran en funciones ofensivas y decodificación. Pueden especializarse en pistolas o fusiles de francotirador y llevar armaduras medias. Vale, y centinela. Los centinelas combinan biótica y las capacidades tecnológicas. Normalmente usa su, sus capacidades bióticas y sus habilidades de curación para defender a los aliados. También pueden neutralizar a sus oponentes con ataques bióticos o tecnológicos. Son más eficientes con estos, pero a cambio son algo peores en combate. Solo pueden llevar armadura ligera y no se especializan en armas avanzadas. Vanguardia. Los vanguardias son guerreros bióticos. Para acabar con sus enemigos combinan el armamento con la biótica, por lo que resultan especialmente letales a corto alcance. Se especializan en pistolas y escopetas y llevan armaduras medias. Hmm. A ver, estoy entre soldado. Porque pueden usar armaduras medias y pesadas. Eso nos va a venir muy bien. Ingenieros es que solamente pistolas. Los bióticos igual, pistolas. Y encima armadura ligera. Infiltrado, pistolas y fusil francotirador. Vamos a coger infiltrado, ¿no? Fusil francotirador y pistolas. Selecciona un ta talento adicional. Fusil de asalto. Confirm facial identification. Apariencia, sí. La dejamos Profile así tal cual. Johnny Shepard, terrestre, héroe de guerra, infiltrado, fusiles de asalto. Bien. Confirmar. Identification confirmed. Dificultad. Uf. Vamos a ponerla en veterano, venga. Que yo ya sé jugar bastante o... Por lo menos tengo mis horas hechas. Subida de nivel automática. Sí, venga, que suba automático. Progresión del nivel. Modo legendario. En el modo clásico se utiliza el rango de niveles de 1 a 60 en el lugar del nuevo rango de 1 a 30. La progresión de PX, punto de experiencia y punto de talento se mantiene igual, pero se duplica el número de niveles. Ah, lo dejamos ahí. Uso los talentos del pelotón. Todo. Determina que habilidades y talentos usarán los miembros del pelotón en combate. Sí, también. O sea, no solamente defensivo, sino en general todo. Subtítulos sí, ¿vale? Porque el, el audio va a estar en inglés, ¿de acuerdo? Pero estará subtitulado en español. Guardado automático, activar tutoriales, no. Aceptar. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. En el año 2148, unos exploradores descubrieron en Marte los restos de una antigua civilización que viajaba por el espacio. En las décadas siguientes, aquellos misteriosos artefactos revelaron tecnologías asombrosas que permitían viajar a las estrellas lejanas. La base de esa increíble tecnología era una fuerza que controlaba el tejido, el espacio-tiempo y no me ha dado tiempo a seguir leyendo. Espero que vosotros sí, si no pausar el vídeo y, y lo leéis, no hay problema. The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Hot, acquiring approach vector. All 
Aquí viene el Johnny. Hagan paso al Johnny. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Let's do that, Gordo. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Vale. Ahora ya podemos manejar a nuestro personaje. A ver. Aquí está el señor piloto, ¿vale? Bueno, no podemos hablar con él. Caída. Vale, veamos un poquito la nave, ¿de acuerdo? En la que estamos... A ver. Navegante Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Te ayudo que discutías. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left hmm. in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. 
I don't like it. No vamos a ser bordes, ¿vale? Vamos a, a ser amistosos, ¿no? I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Muy bien. Hay que ver por aquí. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. Como Jenkins. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Well, so Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Mm -hmm. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Oh, yeah. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Vamos a hablar con el Capitán. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The Captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Huh. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean. Proteana. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, 
too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Oh. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Perfect. Pues Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Mission se va a poner muy interesante. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Commander. Pistola, escopeta. Rifle de asalto. Hard, Commander. Hostile Commander. Keep your guard up. Vale, pues... Rifle de asalto, ¿no? Lo llevamos ya encima. Esto es para golpear. Creo que la G era granada. Efectivamente. Eso es una granada. Esto para apuntar, ¿vale? Disparar. Ahí está. Vale, la X. Cambia de arma. What 
the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry. Oh god. What happened here? Ah, vale. Esto es lo que yo quería yo buscar. Aquí puedes escoger el, el... qué personas tienen que llevar qué armas. Aquí los poderes que tienen cada uno y demás. Yo tengo sobrecarga y sabotaje. Esto para correr, vale. Jenkins. Madre mía, pero sí que ha durado mucho, ¿eh? We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Había una manera de cubrirse, vale. Simplemente, vale, mirando hacia la pared y tal, y se cubre automáticamente. Bien. Está. No hace falta recargar, de acuerdo. Tienes la pistola, te he dicho que usaras el jefe. Ahí está. Ahora veo un pobre bicho, me lo has explotado. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. 
I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol, until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. Move in. Pues esta chica no se ha cruzado con con el Turiano. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Seguimos avanzando. Cuidado. No sé por qué tengo la escopeta, ¿vale? Está. Todavía sigues con la pistola, en serio. Ahí, al pie. Hemos subido de nivel, bien. Parece estar limpio. Ah, vale. Le doy la X sin querer. Eso es para aplicarse botiquín. Esto es para mandar a los compañeros, de acuerdo. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Pistola y fusil de asalto, vale. Quedarse todo. Por cierto, pelotón, tirador, una activación, vale. Y aquí nos sube esto automático. Vale, importante subir en canto, ¿de acuerdo? Hay que subirlo lo máximo que se pueda. Voy a deshacer los puntos. ¿No puedo deshacerlos? No. Vale, un momento. Opciones de juego. Subir de nivel automática. Vamos a subir solamente el pelotón. Vale. Si lo subimos nosotros, pues igual gente. Las armas, por si no os habéis dado cuenta, no, no se recarga, ¿de acuerdo? Cuando disparas, no tiene balas. Pero veis abajo a la izquierda, en el icono de, del arma, una barra. Si llega al tope, se calienta mucho. ¿De acuerdo? O sea, no hay que llegar nunca al tope. Vale, a ver por aquí. Más cositas, quedarse con todo. 
Omnigel es el... Eh, el botiquín. Los botiquines. A ver, me marca aquí algo. En el mapa. Aquí no hay nada. Vale. Pues vamos a abrir esta puerta, ¿no? De codificación fácil. Comenzar. Anulación manual. Facilito, ¿no? Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> Yo puedo callarlo, sí, con un golpetazo ahí... En la boca. William, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Vale. A ver qué por aquí. Nada. A ver, déjenme salir, por favor. Pues avancemos. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh-ho! Ya tenemos a, al traidor de turno. ¿no? Ah, 
coger. Vamos a coger el rifle franco tirador. Vamos a probarlo, ¿no? ¡Uf! ¡Qué mocharda, ¿no? Vale, aquí hay otra puerta. Vamos por aquí, por ejemplo. Ahí está. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. No señal de interferencia. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. This should help. Let's move out. Good luck. Vale, pues una pistola mejor que nos han dado. A ver, electrónica fácil. Ahí está. De momento nos quedamos con las armas y ahora después miraremos a ver qué armas quedarnos. A ver qué hay por aquí. Nada. Vamos, subamos. Commander, it's Nihilus. ¿Qué te mejora? Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. 
You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> yes, if you hadn't like stuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to oh, find that beacon enough. before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Por ser un vago te has salvado, macho. Vaya que lo. Me he marcado marca ahí algo. Ahí abajo. Cuidado. Tiene nada ni nada para recoger. No, no parece. Hola, ese del fondo voy a dispararle con el franco que ahora. No quiero sobrecargar mucho el franco tirador, ahí está muerto. el chiqui chiqui ¿eh? tú también ya lo que faltaba vamos a por Saren ¿no? me parece que es un traidor set the charges destroy the entire colony leave no evidence that we were here desactivar cargas, ¿eh? Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry, we need to find them all and shut them down. Vale, nos quedan tres cargas más y ahí veo enemigos. Ahí 
Todos los compañeros se me cruzan. Parece que no hay fuego, amigo, pero vamos. A ver. Estoy yendo la. de algo no parece y por aquí antes de ir al otro lado aquí algo no parece vale más enemigos eh cuidado Pero me queda atascado otra vez. Vale. Quedarse con todo. A ver dónde hay más enemigos. Vale, eso era obvio que se iba a caer. Era muy, muy obvio. Super calienta. Tengo que esperar hasta que se me vaya. Vale, muerto. Por ahí está la baliza, de acuerdo. Vamos a investigar rápido. Mira, aquí de técnico. Por ahí no hay nada. Quedarse con todo. de ir a la baliza siempre hay que mirar lo que hay ahora aquí arriba que hay mira taquilla Uy, casi me pilla ¿eh? aquí que hay nada está cerrado hay una caja cogemos todo Ahora ya después, cuando estemos en la nave, cambiamos el armamento. Si hay que poner alguna mejora a algún arma, se le pone. A ver. Perfecto. Vale, pues a la belice entonces. Mira, sí que te cansas pronto, ¿eh? Eso es lo que desenterraron, la baliza. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. He visto unas imágenes y esas imágenes son muy, muy importantes. Esa es la nave de Saren. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it.
Doctor. Dr. Chakwas. I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The Beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a Spectre, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. 
I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Muy bien, pues ya tenemos siguiente misión. Vamos a ir dejando ya aquí el vídeo, de acuerdo, ya llevamos una hora, que está bastante bien. Y nada, a ver, ahí eh, para la gente que le guste más la historia, ¿vale? Yo lo voy a poner todo, ¿de acuerdo? Todas las conversaciones y demás. Se intentarán hacer todas las misiones secundarias, todas las posibles. Si no se pueden hacer al 100%, no pasa nada. Pero tiene mucha historia, mucha conversación estos juegos, ¿de acuerdo? El 2 y el 3 son menos conversación, pero más acción, ¿de acuerdo? El más efecto 2 y 3. Pero este es más, más de conversación, ¿de acuerdo? Al principio es normal porque te tienen que explicar absolutamente todo, las razas que hay. De hecho, aquí me parece en el códice. After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on vale, mechanical vamos. spike. Quieto, quieto, tranquilo. Eh, te explican absolutamente, pues eso, todos los, los alienígenas que hay, ajenas al consejo, las especies del consejo, los turianos, las armaduras, barreras cinéticas, gobierno galáctico, de acuerdo. Ahí hay muchas cosas que explican, ¿vale? Y por eso el más FK1 es como más largo en ese sentido, ¿de acuerdo? En tema historia. Por eso la conversación siempre es un tema largo, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, eso, eso. En el más FK1 siempre lo explican todo bien. El más FK2 y 3, como ya viene escurtido el más FK1, ya te sabes... No hay tanta conversación, ¿de acuerdo? Hay conversaciones, cierto, pero no hay tanta como en el 1, ¿de acuerdo? Porque ya viene escurtido del 1, obviamente. Así que nada, dejamos el vídeo aquí. Eh, la próxima más Effect 1 segunda parte, ¿de acuerdo? Haremos un par de misioncitas. Tenemos que hablar con, con el consejo en la ciudadela. Así que ese será nuestro siguiente objetivo. Darle like, suscribiros si queréis ver más, más efectos. Y nada. Nos despedimos aquí. Venga. Hasta la próxima.